Welcome to my channel, American Report. Subscribe to my channel for news updates all around the world. Imagine a place so dry its name means, you can get in, but you can't get out. This is the Taklamakan Desert, a sea of sand in China's far west. Beneath this barren landscape lies a paradox, a colossal underground ocean, holding an estimated 228 trillion liters of water. That's 15 times more water than all five Great Lakes combined, hidden beneath one of the world's driest places. This isn't a small aquifer, but a vast subterranean reservoir, fed over millennia by meltwater from the surrounding mountains. The water seeps down, collecting in a geological trap that's been filling for eons. The discovery of this hidden sea challenges everything we thought we knew about deserts. It's a reminder that the Earth's surface is only part of the story. What lies beneath can be even more extraordinary. Scientists uncovered this secret through years of surveys and seismic imaging, piecing together clues from deep within the crust. The mountains act as a funnel, the basin as a bucket, and over time, that bucket has filled to the brim. This silent, dark ocean is a testament to the planet's ability to hide resources in the most unexpected places. It forces us to ask, what other secrets are buried beneath the world's harshest landscapes? The Taklamakan's hidden ocean is a profound secret, kept by sand and rock for generations. So why can't we use this vast reservoir to quench the desert's thirst? The answer, salt. The water beneath the Taklimakan is a brine, saltier than the Dead Sea, undrinkable and unusable for crops. Over millennia, as water seeped down, it dissolved minerals, creating a subterranean chamber of salt water. Desalinating such a massive, deeply buried ocean would require unimaginable energy and cost. It's a cruel irony, an ocean in the desert, but it's a mirage in liquid form, visible, measurable but untouchable. This highlights a crucial lesson. The existence of a resource doesn't guarantee its usefulness. The water is trapped by both rock and its own chemistry, yet its presence is scientifically invaluable, influencing underground geology and possibly supporting a hidden biosphere. It offers clues about Earth's climate history and geological processes. While we can't drink it, we can study it. A natural laboratory, a library of geological history written in saltwater. The Taklimakan's ocean is a reminder of nature's complexity and our planet's hidden wonders. Against this backdrop, China has launched one of the most ambitious engineering projects of our time, drilling over 11 kilometers into the earth, right in the Taklimakan desert. The Shendi-1 project aims to pierce the unknown, exploring the deep frontiers beneath our feet. Led by the China National Petroleum Corporation, the mission seeks new energy reserves in the resource-rich Tarim Basin. But it's more than a hunt for oil and gas, it's a quest to understand our planet's ancient history. The drill will pass through 10 layers of rock, reaching the Cretaceous system, over 145 million years old. By retrieving core samples, scientists hope to reconstruct a high-resolution history of Earth's climate and geology. This project places China among the few nations daring to probe so deeply rivaling Russia's legendary Kola Super Deep Borehole. These efforts are driven by the same curiosity that sends telescopes into space. What is our planet made of? What secrets lie beneath? The Taklamakan drill is an 11 kilometer deep question mark, aimed at the heart of the Earth. It's a journey into the unknown, with the promise of discovery. Drilling 11 kilometers into the Earth is a feat of engineering unlike any other. The rig is a 2,000 ton giant, built to withstand extreme heat and pressure. Temperatures at depth can reach 200 degrees, and pressures are over a thousand times what we feel at the surface. Equipment must be custom-built, resistant to heat, pressure, and the unpredictable geology below. The drill must chew through layers of rock, from soft sediment to hard granite, each demanding different techniques. Risks abound, borehole collapse, equipment failure, and unexpected gas pockets. Every meter drilled is a step into the unknown, guided by seismic data but full of surprises. The project pushes the limits of material science, sensor technology, and remote control systems. Innovations here will ripple out, advancing geothermal energy, resource exploration, and seismic hazard understanding. It's a high-risk, high-reward endeavor, showcasing human ingenuity against nature's extremes. The knowledge gained will shape future exploration, both on Earth and beyond. 
the Taklamakan drill is not just a hole, it's a gateway to new scientific frontiers. Each challenge overcome is a leap forward for technology and understanding. The Taklimakan drilling project is more than a search for resources, it's a time machine. Each core sample is a page from Earth's ancient diary, preserving evidence of past climates and environments. By analyzing these layers, scientists can reconstruct Central Asia's climate millions of years ago. The goal reached the Cretaceous layer, a period of intense greenhouse conditions and high CO2. Studying these rocks provides real-world data on how Earth responds to dramatic climate shifts. This information refines our climate models, helping us predict the future by understanding the past. The Taklamakan borehole could reveal how fast climates change, what triggers tipping points, and how resilient ecosystems are. The secrets locked in ancient rock may guide today's policy decisions on climate. To know where we're going, we must first explore where we've been, even if it means drilling 11 kilometers into solid rock. Drilling deep into the earth, we might find more than rock and water, we might find life. The Kola Superdeep Borehole in Russia discovered microscopic fossils miles below the surface, proving life's resilience. The Taklimakan salty ancient water could harbor extremophiles, microbes, thriving in darkness, heat, and pressure. These organisms use chemosynthesis, surviving on chemical energy rather than sunlight. If life exists here, it would expand our understanding of the biosphere's limits. Every microbe found tells us life is robust, creative, and persistent, even in the most inhospitable places. The search for deep life is a frontier in biology, hinting that Earth is alive not just on the surface, but deep within. The Takli Makan drill could stumble upon one of the most profound discoveries life in the abyss. The Taklamakan Desert's influence stretches far beyond its borders. Each year, massive dust storms launch fine particles into the atmosphere, traveling thousands of miles, even reaching North America. This dust carries minerals, pollutants and microbes, affecting air quality and weather worldwide. Inhaling these particles can worsen respiratory and cardiovascular health for millions. The desert's reach is a stark reminder of our interconnected world. The drilling project unfolds in this sensitive environment demanding careful management to avoid ecological harm. Industrial activity here carries risks, accidents, pollution and disruption to a fragile ecosystem. Yet, the desert's dust also plays a role in climate reflecting sunlight and fertilizing ocean life. Understanding these processes is vital for global climate science. The Taklimakan is not a barren wasteland but an active player in Earth's systems. Research here could unlock new insights into our planet's delicate balance. China's deep drilling project is watched closely by the world. It's a scientific quest, but also a strategic move in the global race for resources and technology. Drilling in a seismically active region raises concerns. Could it trigger earthquakes or release greenhouse gases? Will the scientific data be shared openly or kept behind national interests? The project is a Pandora's box, new knowledge, but also new risks. Are we opening doors to unforeseen consequences or advancing responsibly? The quest for deep earth resources could lock us into fossil fuels, even as we seek a sustainable future. The Taklimakan project tests our collective wisdom. Can we balance discovery with responsibility? The world will be watching, not just for what's found, but for how we handle this new frontier. The Taklamakan drilling project's implications reach far beyond Earth. Discovering life in extreme environments here fuels hope for life elsewhere in the cosmos. Worlds like Europa and Enceladus may have subsurface oceans under ice, with conditions similar to Earth's deep crust. Missions like NASA's Europa Clipper will search for signs of life, guided by what we learn from projects like Taklimakan. A drill in a Chinese desert and a spacecraft at Jupiter are linked by the same quest. Are we alone? The search for knowledge connects the deepest parts of our planet to the farthest reaches of the solar system. The hidden ocean beneath the Taklimakan is another clue that the universe may be more alive than we ever imagined.